Hey, what's up, Shot Makers? It's Rob. Today, I got my man Tyler Matzik from the Atlanta Braves. Tyler, tell the people about yourself, man. How's it going, guys? Yeah, so uh, my name is Tyler Matzik. I am a pitcher with the Atlanta Braves. Going through rehab right now, but I look to be back on the field here pretty soon and a uh, fan of Shot Makers. Let's go. Man, so how is it dealing with injury, man, in the big leagues? How is that? It's never fun, but uh, it's part of the game. Whenever you want to do something that you want to do that is physically demanding, it just comes with the territory. So you uh, just embrace it and look for an opportunity to get better. So you guys are having a crazy good season. I know you root for your guys, but you also want to be out there, man. What is that like? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'd love to be out there helping the team, contributing to them and their success. But it's just been fun to be a fan this year and go in and watch these guys go to work every single night and be honestly one of the best teams in baseball history. It's been very impressive to watch. Yeah, man, as an Atlanta Braves fan since a kid, man, David Justice days and watching and watching the team go through the ups, go through the downs, and then getting over those hurdles, man, it's been great. How's the feeling being here in Atlanta from the fans? What's the love like? Oh, man, it's unbelievable. We pack out our stadium all the time. Obviously, we got the chop going on all the time. It's a great atmosphere to play baseball. And uh, the teams that come in off the road kind of say the same thing. They're like, wow, this place is unbelievable to play at, you know. And when you can feel that energy, it helps the players go out there every single day and try and do their best. So, Tyler, where are you from, man? I'm from Southern California. So I'm about halfway between L.A. and San Diego. What town? I'm from Mission Viejo, California. It's a Mission little Viejo. town in Orange County. Nice place to grow up. And a long ways away from Atlanta, though. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, I actually used to live in SoCal, man. Did you? Yeah, I was, yes, sir. I was out in the marina for a little bit. Okay, nice. So coming from SoCal, you play high school. Did you get drafted out of high school? I did. I got drafted out of high school back in 2009. So what was that like? Man, it was wild. You know, being an 18-year-old kid, somebody saying, hey, man, you're going to play a game for your living. Are you ready to do that? And at the time, I felt like I was, and I was happy I made that decision and got my career started. But, man, it was a wild journey, that's for sure. What was kind of like the biggest shocker from going from, you know, purely an amateur to a pro? What was something that you just didn't see coming? Yeah, you just got to grow up fast. That's the biggest thing, man. You go from living at home with your mom and dad at 18 to – Hey, you got to have an apartment. Everybody else around you, 22, 23 years old, and you got to live on your own. You got to do your own thing. And it can be kind of tough, but you got to grow up fast if you want to chase your dreams. For sure, man. At Shot Makers League, man, we're about bringing people opportunity, giving them a shot at their opportunity, no matter what that is. Like I told you before, we plan on branching into other sports outside of basketball. Are you a basketball fan at all? I am, a little bit. I grew up playing basketball. I was terrible. I think it has to do with, you know, I'm <laughs> dominant right-handed and left-handed. So, like, I shoot left, but I dribble right. Okay. It wasn't very good. I never got to the stage where I was ever good at dribbling with both hands. So, baseball was my sport early on, but uh, I did enjoy playing it when I was younger. For sure. Any favorite player? You coming out of coming out of California, man. I love watching Steph Curry play. I absolutely just love the way he goes about his business, he's professional, yeah. and a man can make it rain, that's for sure. So, really, I love watching him work. Any expectations for the next couple of weeks for the Braves? What's about to happen? Go ahead and give us an inside scoop. Inside scoop is the Braves are going to continue to win, and we're going to head into the playoffs. And once you get there, anything can happen. So, I think the team at this point is just win, win the games we need to win and stay healthy and get ready for what hopefully is a deep October run. So I told you before, man, the ritual when you come to Shot Makers League, we got to get you to create a challenge for the people. What did you come up with, Tyler? Oh, man. So I'm thinking something where you got to make three baseballs throws into a basketball hoop and then just oh, follow man. it up with a three-pointer as well. And I think all from, just from half court, you got to throw it in half court, bang, 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 three in a row. Hope we don't break the backboard, but I think <laughs> we need to see that happen. Tyler. With the baseball trick shot for half court challenge. Let's get it. Let's, Let's do it. it. Hey, man, it's been great having you. Yeah.